Hi, welcome to We Play Golf. Today I'm going to show you how you can prepare yourself for a good round of golf on the driving range. So when you play on the golf course, there's a scorecard. On the scorecard, they'll put down your score. When you're on the driving range, there is normally no scorecard. But from now, we'll use it. The idea is, when you practice, after your practice session, you can imagine you're going to be playing the golf course on the driving range. So, for me, playing Ternessa will say that from the first hole, I need to hit a par 4, 287 meter. Now, if I want to prepare that, I'm on the driving range. So, can you imagine the hole in front of you? Can you imagine what type of club you want to play? If you think 180 meters is enough to get the ball in the right position towards a bunker, towards uh, whatever, you want to know where you want to play it. So then you can make it club choice. So if for me, I will taking a five iron to hit my first tee shot, should be enough for the distance. I prepare myself for the tee shot, just like on the, on the golf course. So I'll be aiming. I go to the same procedure. I make a practice swing. I can see the ball flight. And then eventually, I'll play the shot. I can see the ball land and I know where I've hit it. It's in the center of the fairway. And from there, I know I only need to hit 100 meters into the green. I'm aiming for the 100 meter now. Have a few practice swings to feel what you want to do. Less speed on the tee shot. I can see the ball landing now, about five meters left of the 100 meter sign, so it should be on the green. After I've hit those two shots, I'm going to note down on the card that my tee shot was with a five iron and I'd reach the green with a pitching wedge. So next time I go on the golf course, I'll be using these to play the hole. If I have the same rhythm, the same tempo, the same swing, I should have those two clubs to hit the green. So if you do this on the 18 holes, so your game planning, the course management is done already on your driving range. And stick to the plan, don't try to change. You should have the score as you play on the driving range. This is how you play golf and this is how you're gonna score better from the driving range to the golf course. See you next time.